Today we told you about a half century old wedding ring that had been found on the floor of a local store. And now with the help of nine on your side, quick thinking police and the Hamilton County Probate Court, our Scott Wegener tells us that ring found its way home. After nearly three months, Tom Evans' gold wedding ring is back where it belongs. I'm thankful to God for making it all happen. Tom says he doesn't remember losing the ring, only that suddenly it was no longer on his finger. It turned up on the floor of this Sam's Club where Tom buys dog food. I decided to pick it up. When Nancy O'Toole realized what she had found... I couldn't believe it. I thought, I want to find the owner. She called the store and no one had been asking about it. Yesterday, she took it to the Green Township Police. We have first names and a date. Lieutenant Mitch Hill and Detective Mike Lampy got right on it. He immediately thought, let's check the probate records. They called Melissa Pierce. I uh, supervise the file room, records room, and the marriage license department. Even though their office had computerized their old records back to 1965, it wasn't just a single mouse click. We call them books. The volumes we had to look through. The bride and groom's name are both indexed separately. It required some digital shoe leather. Every Tom or Thomas or Barb or Barbara, we wrote down the page number. Until they matched both names with the date on the ring, May 29th, 1965. Meanwhile, Tom and Barb learned from a friend who saw the story on Nine on Your Side that the ring had been found. When they showed up at the police department, Lieutenant Hill already knew they were the rightful owners. It's a very good feeling. All starting with Nancy O'Toole. We'll see her face to face, and I'm going to give her a kiss, and I'm going to say thank you and I love you. Scott Wagoner, Nine on Your Side, Green Township. Back where it belongs right on his finger. Isn't that sweet?